So we have a massive week coming for Palantir stock. We have to break down the charts in this video where I see Palantir going this week. And of course, what I'm looking to do. So guys, jam-packed video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to get up to 20 stocks from Moomoo with at least a $100 deposit. Simply use that link down below or go to StockSurfest.com slash Moomoo and your uninvested cash for now until Jerome Powell cuts the rates, that is, will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, come on, that's a no-brainer. So again, use that link down below or go to StossRFest.com slash Moomoo. And of course, that is an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, let's dive right into the video. So PLTR did pretty well on Friday to wrap up the week. We went up over 1.5% and we closed at $31.48, pretty much in the mid 31s. And after the bell, we were creeping up even more. It looks like here after the bell, we hit $31.65, actually surpassing the highs from the pre-market on Friday. Not by much, but we did break out of those highs, right? So we closed the day on Friday on a nice pop. You guys can see we were at about $31.15, 10 minutes before close. Then we rocketed all the way about 40 to 50 cents there. And again, after the bell, we shot up even more. And now on the five day, five minute chart, what we have right here is an ascending triangle. Nothing too crazy, but it is looking pretty bullish here on PLTR heading into this brand new week, right? You guys see clear higher lows being made into the 3175 resistance, which if that ends up breaking, you guessed it, a leg up could be right around the corner, which is why my alert is set at $31.75. My eyes are peeled on that level because if we you know take it out, we could be seeing um, a push maybe back towards $33 per share, which you guys know PLTR was just there not too long ago. We're talking like 10 days ago, guys, not long at all. And keep in mind on this 10 day, 30 minute chart, we're looking pretty bullish the way I'm seeing it right now. We have a golden cross forming as of Friday, it looks like, uh, which simply means a smaller time frame moving average, in this case, the 50 SMA crossing over a larger time frame, in this case, the 180 SMA. So that could signal, keyword is could signal more upside, right? So we're taking that point out. We have a golden cross here and 3175 is next, which again, if that breaks, which is a big resistance heading into this week, PLTR could be playing in this window right here between 3175 and $33. Then if $33 ends up breaking, uh-oh, guys, we could be going up even more uh, from that point, right? Maybe up to about $33, and we'll see, um, you know, from that point, right? So keep your eyes on this ascending triangle here, which is very important uh, for this week. My alert's at $31.75 on this thing. And if I pull the 20 day chart up, we can see right here. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. We do have a death cross still on this time frame. So we'll see how that ends up playing out. Um, and we are struggling at the 180 SMA on this one hour time frame. So even more reason for it to break 31.75, $32 uh, per share, right? So let's see here on the four hour time frame heading into this week, guys. We're looking golden. We're looking golden. We talked about how on this time frame, we've been consistently pulling back towards this main moving average, the 180, and we've been holding it like clockwork pretty much, except for when they reported earnings. I guess that is one blip here on the chart where we went under that moving average, but obviously we then recovered pretty aggressively off that point uh, and retook the moving average. But based on what we saw last week, we did pull down to about 29 50 30 bucks, and then we held that point. Buyers came in, we got the pop, volume kicked up a little bit there, and 
the pattern continued pretty much. The uptrend continued. And now for this thing, again, to see the full leg up, we're going to need to break 3175 33 bucks, and then we'll see uh, where it goes from there. And to be honest, I'm not surprised that we're struggling in the low mid 30s. I mean, you guys know, especially if you've been watching my channel, which I think if you're uh, unsubscribed, you got to subscribe. I think 50% of you guys, funny enough, watch the channel, watch the videos, but you're not subscribed. So if that's you, smash that subscribe button. But if you've been watching the videos, maybe not. Either way, we've talked about $33, $34. That was the high from almost four years ago, guys. I know it's crazy, but from almost four years ago. So we're struggling a bit to break out of it. You, you guys can see this candle right here. But once that takes out or once it takes it out, we could be going high 30s, mid high 30s, which you guys know my prediction on this stock was for it to hit 30 bucks per share this year. We did that. And I don't know. I'm satisfied with that. Anything else now? Any any more uh, more upside is kind of like the cherry on top at this point because again we already hit my price target that I set out a couple of months ago and you know hey everything else is like the cherry on top so I'm thinking we take 33 out if we do um, yeah mid high 30s this year we still have three four more months however many months um, yeah it could still be in the cards it could definitely be in the cards guys so what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comments i'm very curious and by the way before we break down this other stock i'm looking at don't forget to sign up to my mailing list i'm sending you guys my free or my top three stocks for free almost mixed it up there guys uh via email right every single monday check that out it's linked down below again it's free you might as well do it put your email address your first name no spam no bs just straight up charts. Uh, but yeah, PLTR alerts are set 31.75 and I think $33 per share. And did you guys see Intel on Friday? Intel ended up going berserk 9.5% on the day. A bunch of stocks ended up doing well. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled on Intel this week as we could potentially, maybe just maybe, continue this momentum uh, we're not fully breaking out by any means but maybe we could start pushing towards um, you know the mid 20s again maybe high 20s it could be in the cards for intel here and we also had a pretty nice day on looks like amazon which you guys know i'm long and i'm bullish amazon for sure up 3.7 percent on Friday, it looks like, and now we have a cup and handle on Amazon, and we're approaching a big resistance. We're at it right now, the 180 SMA, so keep your eyes on that. We'll see if that ends up breaking. Maybe from there, uh, 180 plus could be on the, uh, uh, you know, on the, uh, uh, around, uh, what, what am I trying to say? On the cards, right, or in the cards. You guys know what I mean, right? So keep your eyes on these couple of stocks. Palantir, of course. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Run the likes up. Make sure to subscribe. And again, don't forget to get up to 20 stocks for Moomoo. The clock's ticking. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo and your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1% APY for now. So use that link or again, go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo and I'll catch you in the next video.